Hello everyone and welcome to this my Laurel and Hardy DVD collection part 2 and these are the rest of my US DVD sets. In part 1 I showed you all 9 volumes of the Lost Films of Laurel and Hardy which was basically all their silent films that were released on DVD um, in the US between 1998 I believe till early 2000 and they contained all the Hal Roach silence that survive of Laurel and Hardy very expensive set that was but uh, yeah I still wanted to showcase it and these are the last two DVDs from the US that I have um, of course I have all the UK and European major releases um, as well so I will do a video going through those in part three and possibly part four and even part five perhaps depending on how long those videos are but um, yeah so these are the last sets I have from the US um, so here we have obviously Babes in Toyland aka March of the Wooden Soldiers and I'll put that aside and here we have the Essential Collection which features all the talkies at Hal Roach, the shorts and the feature films excluding um, of course Babes in Toyland which is why this DVD is here as well as Bonnie Scotland and The Devil's Brother or Fra Diablo as it's also known. Um, so other than those three films, all the Hal Roach talkies are available in this set. And this is the most comprehensive set out there in the, the UK and German sets, well European sets really, were sort of the, the only way to go if you wanted to obtain the silence as well as the talkies from the Hal Roach era. But then this set came out and although it doesn't have the silence, all the talkies are on here and um, excluding the three I mentioned and this is definitely the best versions of those films I think they're taken from the same prints that were used for the UK and European sets it's just these have had a few of the original titles reinstated a bit of the missing footage reinstated as well and it's just had a uh, high definition restoration work done on it so this is a beautiful set and as you can see this is the outer slip case so there's the spine uh, all out of focus. So there's Stan and Ollie and yeah it's very nice sort of shiny outer bit there as you can see the inner box and here's the back so as you can see it says the timeless sound era films digitally remastered and digitally restored in one 10 disc collection and so yeah this is released through RHI and as I said this is uh, the US sets that I have so it is region 1 locked but luckily I have a multi-region DVD Blu-ray player so I am able to enjoy these films in all their glory and this is what is inside uh, the box uh, obviously it wasn't designed to be as blurry as it is right now but there we go we can get some focus on that and so this is the inner, inner box of it and it's very very nice the outer case is a little bit minimalistic but it's still very nice but it's inside that's uh, particularly nice nice big thick book like design really nice to the touch and again it just says the essential collection and there's the spine for that and then the back we just have uh, a load of selected screenshots from all their films that are available on this set and when you open it up there we go a nice little crack there you have the contents page which has all the information from all the discs including the special features and then on here a little foreword by Richard W. Ban um, and there is the Lauren Hardy sort of logo there now the problem that a lot of people have had with this set uh, and I've had with this set in the past is this book like style in the where it holds the disc because it's very tight in here as you can see I'm going to try and open it up so it's not but not damage it obviously but it's very very fiddly and that is where the discs go and as you can see there's no protection in there and some people have had trouble where glue has actually strayed from the box and found its way onto the discs now I had that problem with the first set I bought of this um, and I did have some scratches as well and it did affect the playback of the disc so I rebought this set which then the um, actual fold out part of the book was severely damaged so I sent that back and then I got this version and to be better safe than sorry I've housed all the discs in these double sided uh, amore cases just, just so that I 
preserve the DVDs. It's not it's not worth keeping it in here just to keep it in here. The book is lovely, like I said, but um, some protection on the disc would have been really nice. So as you can see here, it says disc one. So we have unaccustomed as we are, their first talking short, birthmarks, men of war, perfect day, they go boom, the who's gal, uh, night owls, ladrones, which is night owls in Spanish, which is a sort of extended cut, and blotto. So yeah, that's that one. And if we flip it over to this one, this is a beautifully designed set. I mean, if you look at it, the nice photo in the middle, take, all taken from this taken from Blotto, this taken from another fine mess, more clips from the shorts on this page on, on these pages rather displayed there. And then we've got another foreign language of Blotto Spanish again. So yeah, that yeah. Oh, sorry, that's Night Owls. Did I say did I say Blotto? No, I think I did say Night Owls before, but that's a Blotto Spanish version. Then you've got Bratz, the, uh, which uh, you get the original 1930s version. And incidentally, with A Perfect Day, um, for the first time on home video, you get uh, the short in its re-release version, which is what most fans are familiar with, but also it contains the original 1929 soundtrack. So it's uh, really the original release as well, which is uh, exclusive to this set. Then you get Below Zero, and then you get the Below Zero Spanish version. Again, another extended version, Hog Wild, the Lauren Hardy murder case, and then you get the Lauren Hardy murder case and birthmarks combined Spanish edition, and then another fine mess, which is pictured here. So if we move this book aside for a second, so here is the actual discs themselves. So there we go, and it has the same design as the, the pictures in the book. So that's that one, that's the first two discs. And then if we move on, we have here... Uh, be big, chickens come home, and then a chickens come home Spanish version there, and then laughing gravy, which is I, I believe it's the I've, I can't remember because it's been a little while since I've seen it on this set, but I think what they've done is they've shown they give you the um, twenty minute version, and then at the end of the twenty minute version they show you as a separate clip the last. Uh, reel that was omitted from the, I believe, the American release. So, yeah, so there we go. Was it omitted from the American release or the UK release? I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, so you get the extended cut as well added at the end, and then you get Be Big and Laughing Gravy, um, the French version here, and then on disc four. We get uh, Be Big, Laughing Gravy, Spanish version, Our Wife, their first feature-length movie, Pardon Us, the uh, extended cut. There is no original cut, uh, the theatrical cut, which was about 45, 50 minutes. We get the full 70-minute version there. Come Clean, One Good Turn, and um, and Bo Hunks. Bo Hunks is how it's actually uh, pronounced after the word, which is derived from Bohemia or Bohemian. And so if we put that book aside again, so we have the two discs here. So there is disc four and there is disc five. And then with disc six, ignore the camera wobble there. And so with disc six, we're into 1932 now. One of my favorites, Helpmates. Then any old port, the Obviously, the Academy, Academy Award-winning classic, The Music Box, The Chimp, with original titles reinstated, County Hospital, another classic, Scram, their second movie, Pack Up Your Troubles, and Their First Mistake. And then we move on to disc six with Toad in a Hole, Twice Two, Me and My Pal, The Midnight Patrol, Busy Bodies, Dirty Work, Sons of the Desert, a classic feature film of Lauren Hardy's, one of my favourites, Oliver the Eighth, and Going Bye Bye. And there's the pictures there. And again, if we just, if I just uh, put, uh, put that as a sort of bookmark there. And then if we look here, we have the discs five and six, just there. Yeah, that's very informative, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, let's move on rather swiftly with disc seven. And there we have Them Thy Hills, uh, one of my favourites again. The Live Ghost, Tit for Tat, 
which is the sequel to Them Thy Hills, The Fixer Uppers, Thicker Than Water, and The Bohemian Girl, another feature film. Then disc eight, we have Our Relations, Way Out West, my all-time favourite and many fans' favourite. And then we have uh, Swiss Miss. So again, if we open this up, we have disc seven and disc eight. And then we continue. This is quite a long video, uh, actually. I didn't expect it to be as long as this, but you know, you get an idea of what's inside and all the content. You get Blockheads, A Chump at Oxford, and their last feature film, Saps at Sea. All three of these feature films. And then we get the bonus disc, which has, has a tribute to Laurel and Hardy, which is a nice little documentary, On Location with the Boys, where you basically go to where uh, locations where some of the films were shot. And then Lauren Hardy guest appearances, so we have On the Loose. And then we have Wild Poses, which is a little rascal short. On the Wrong Trek, which is a Charlie Chase talkie. And then Tree and Test Tube, which is a... Um, it's a it's a single reel, uh, what it says here, Curio made as a non-theatrical industrial film, utilised the services of Lauren Hardy to help convey an educational message aimed at wartime audiences. So there we go. And the Lauren Hardy trailers for Pack Up Your Troubles, A Chump at Oxford, and Saps at Sea. And then we have some acknowledgements here, and that's the end. And that is the box set. And here's the discs that accompany the last, last two sections of the box set. So there we go. So very, very nice. So yeah, it's a, it's a lovely... Ooh, slip. It's a lovely box set just the housing of the dvds i think could have been done a lot better um it's it's very nice and compact i mean when you look at the uk set how big that box set is and i've got the original so it's absolutely massive but um it's very nicely it's very nicely done they did a good restoration job on it it's just a shame that the discs are not housed slightly better if they'd done what they'd done say with the beatles mono box set with the vinyl CD replicas where they've put them in these sort of little plastic bags. If they'd done that with this, that would have been a lot better. But it was advertised on Amazon.com that the reissues of these were meant to have little cardboard sleeves for the discs to go inside here. But this is a, a one I got not that long ago, and um, there are no slips as you see so I don't know if they did that for a limited time anyway last of all the last uh, US DVD release that I've got is Babes in Toyland aka March of the Wooden Soldiers and as you can see spectacularly restored in colour and black and white the colour version is very nice but of course this is Lauren Hardy so I'm going to be obviously going for the restored uh, silent version and as you can see it says uh, special features, newly restored cover ver uh, colour version, original black and white version, mastered in HD from rare 35mm film, as well as original theatrical trailer, Christmas trailer, gallery, bonus animated movie, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, rare Lauren Hardy short film, ultimate holiday bonus package including Christmas toy shop, Twas the Night Before Christmas, Merry Christmas cartoon, classic toy commercials and vintage holiday film rarities. And again this is, um, reg is this region one locked? I don't think it is. It doesn't say it's region one locked so you can probably play this on ordinary DVD players. This also was available on Blu-ray but uh, didn't decide to get that. But yeah this is probably the best version of Babes in Toyland that I've seen i do have um a, i did have a cheap version which was awful and then i did own i do own the uh, copy that comes in the german set but the print is not quite as clean and as pristine as this one so that's it that's the last of my lauren hardy us sets um and in the next video i will go over my lauren hardy uh, uk blu-rays and dvds including the 21 disc mammoth collection and um, and then after that I'll go through my European collections and there's quite a few of those as well. Um, and then and then yeah that will be the Lauren Hardy DVD collection as well as Blu-ray collection completed. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you folks on the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.